Liam? Yeah, yeah. no, he's there. Josh, how are you? Yeah, what's up? Yeah, yeah. Good to, <laughs> good to see your face. I haven't seen you for ages. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while, it's been a while. Hello, people. Hello. What's have you, up, have, you, um, yeah. have okay. you been listening in? Yeah, I've been paying attention. Have you, um, do you know of any of your friends that were harassed by the police for walking their dog or anything in Cape Town? How's it going in no, the... No, not really. Um, not only my friends, I did see a Instagram story of a dude getting like arrested by the cops for buying like a two liter coke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he got and, beaten. He got slapped by them. Um, but like, I haven't, I haven't seen anyone like get arrested or like harassed by the police or like heard of anyone. Yeah. And I can. Uh, there are like quite a lot of cops around my area though at the moment. Okay, and if you, are you in the city bowl? Yeah, I live like just above. Like just up from Long Street, basically. Okay, and now I can see Simon's there. Good evening, Simon. Thanks for joining us from Cape Town. Yeah, how's it going? How's it going? Lekker to see your face, bro. Mm -hmm. I bet yeah, yeah, you it just itching to get out with a camera and do a bunch of content that you can't get. I have no the things I'm putting out are starting to become a bit weird and wacky, and I think it's about <laughs> time I get outside. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for the time to be over. <laughs> And Connor, you're just you're just sat there in Nordok in like behind the lentil curtain all on your own there. And you've got to like negotiate cops a vec to get anywhere. It must be pretty hectic. No, it's pretty chilled out here, man. I mean, I, I heard a couple of stories from uh, mates in Joburg where uh, a woman was reported for, for fetching her wheelie bin from the pavement. And the cops <laughs> rocked up at her house. See, neighbors are snitching on each other now. <laughs> I can stop her out there at the moment, so it's, it's terrible. Friend, yeah, 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 but I heard that you guys in Cape Town, when you had those, those water rationings, I, I was told by a mate of mine that folks were having to wash their cars inside their garage, but the neighbors would still see the water running out of the garage door <laughs> into the pavement and then call the cops on them. Ah, yeah, I wouldn't put it close to that. Ah, that's rough, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, but otherwise, Nordic's been pretty chill there. We, we, we've got this little uh, like WhatsApp group for our road, really nice people. So, so five o'clock every day, we all like stand in our driveways and let the dogs into the road and like have a drink and a smoke and kind of <coughs> out with each other across the road. It's, it's, it's quite pleasant, I guess. Uh, take some footage of it because you'll show it to your kids one day and they'll just wonder how... <laughs> bizarre the whole thing was. I'm finding it more and more bizarre as I go along. I've digested all the information now, I've seen all the posts, I've been down all the threads, and now I've come to an absolute zero on what I believe. I don't believe, I, there's nothing to believe really yeah, anyway. Yeah. I cannot grasp hold of anything tangible to completely believe in yet. Yeah? I don't know what it is with you guys. How do you feel about that Simon? Have you got, do you, do you figure you know what's going on about anything? No, uh, every every time I kind of have a theory down or find someone that thinks or uh, kind of sees it seems like they know what they're talking about, I hear another bit of information that kind of blows it out the water. So I mean, shit, I'm just hoping by the time we get out of it, we all still have our sanity intact and we can just carry on going. And whereabouts are you in Cape Town? Uh, Highfield Village. So it's all very quiet anyway. So I don't know. Life is pretty normal as far as like the streets and and the, the societal living goes. And you're at, you, so you're in walking distance to all the amenities you need to get to a shop or something, yeah? And you, and yeah, you, yeah, but I think the great. So don't worry, I'm probably going to have to quit. I think I'm on my last time. <laughs> uh, I tried that last week, but it didn't work out so well. <laughs> no, luckily, I've got enough ganja to last me through like the apocalypse itself, so I'm good. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, well, it, 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 it's been a scary thing on our side just because obviously we, I've, got, I've got my ganja. You can see some in the background there. So I've got enough to last me a while. And then we've got, we've got a warehouse full of gin because we've got a distillery. So the amount of phone calls we're getting from people, it's like, please, like, just couple me a bottle of gin, man. We've run out of booze and it's, it's crazy. Um, you didn't it's know crazy. how many best friends you had, hey? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite yeah. extra It's quite extraordinary how it has changed to booze and ciggies so quickly. The government's... Of the world, well, this government is just not learning its lesson about any of it. It, it is making a complete asshole of itself by even thinking that prohibiting something would just make people stop. It's it's that's the strangest thing of all that they actually think that banning something will make it better. I don't get it at all. 
I mean, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I went and I, I bought some cigarettes from a connection. Um, and and I felt like I was buying heroin on long skin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> same. Dude, same. experience of my life. Same thing, I was yeah. so freaked out. And I'm like, what the hell? I'm buying a carton of inches. And then I, I found out a, a friend of ours um, in Hot Bay found someone through Facebook. And they actually did like a proper drop with this guy selling cig like loose cigarettes on Facebook. So she bought like 10 and he wrapped them up in tinfoil and then met her in a parking lot and like put it through her window. What? It's like the weirdest, most absurd world I have I've experienced. <laughs> it's, it's flipped right on its head. The whole world is flipped right on its head. It's crazy. Yeah, I met mean, uh, late at night in a dodgy garage. You pull up, there's no one around. Guy pulls up next to you in a car, gives you your car to the street. But 10 Lucy's <laughs> And it's it feels worse when there's no bag. one around because there's no busyness to cover, you know, what you're doing. That's it. It's <laughs> crazy. It really is crazy. But the cigarette thing, I, I just don't understand it. I mean, like, people are locked up at home and now everyone's in nicotine withdrawals. It's just going to cause, like, I don't know, abuse or like angst, angst really. something, you know, angst. It's and increased uh, symptoms. Yeah, there's some, some stores that have been looted this week as well. Yeah, all of the all of the total gas stations within twenty k's of me have been hit in the last two weeks. So um, it's already starting. It's already starting. We're all having our issues. There's it's, there's stuff going on in the background. It's not going to get any better like that. Tell me, uh, Joint Cannabis Consultants, have you got a project in the pipeline during lockdown? Are you managing to get some artistic content out there? Are you collaborating on anything at all? I mean, we do. I mean, we do the live stream now every Friday. I think that's that's been our biggest like okay. adaption to to the to the lockdown. Connor and I and, and Sai talk shit oh. every Friday at two p.m. Two p.m. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And Instagram live uh, tomorrow. <laughs> um, but so I'm not even chatting, and it's just like this this whole lockdown's kind of put like a lot on hold. So it's been quite weird, and like. To, plan around this and like to create content while everyone's stuck at home is a bit is, is different. So, uh, Especially in the way we create content. Yeah. Like, I've never done sitting down stuff, so it's strange <laughs> to like make content do all I do is sit down and talk now. It's a lot, like, it's a lot harder to keep it entertaining. Can I recommend TikTok? <laughs> I'm so close. I am so close. It's like if I see one more good dance video, I'm going to do it. We need the African stoners to take over TikTok. There's already a huge stoner element in there. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm TikTok fan. Like I've got eight followers already. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I might do this. I might do this. I think I'm going to have to take that conversation offline. TikTok's another whole thing. I, th I think I'm about fifty years too old for it. Not so, but it's just another. Like the old folk are taking over and kicking the youngins out. And is it just another platform to create content for? Because content, it's that's the most hectic part of it all. The content. Yeah, but this is maximum a minute. What? Yep. Oh, are we that fucked? Are we actually that <laughs> fucked that it's actually a minute now? Jesus. You have it's sixty seconds to prepare as an average person. person. But it's lacquer. Okay, well, I'd better look into it. Danny, you on TikTok yet? No. Have you been there? <laughs> no. No, I haven't been there. Buzz, have you have you been TikToking? What what's TikTok about? And it's kind of like it's the new Vine. It's, I think yeah. it's longer than Vines were, but I watch the compilations on YouTube and that. Some of them are funny, some of them are cut. It's just a nice way to be creative in a very short format. Oh. And it's a lot more positive, I've noticed as well, because I think that's what's got what's driven me there. It, Facebook is so bitchy and negative and full of fucking conspiracy theories, and Twitter's always negative for me, and I don't know, I just needed something different from Instagram, so I checked it out, and I'm fucking hooked. I cry, I laugh, but I'm crying. Dang. But there's, there's only so much twerking to the Twilight theme song that I can watch. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not even all of them, they're just dancing. There's a lot of people doing like story times and voiceovers and just <coughs> staring at the fucking camera. I, what, I've got these plants in one of them, literally just staring at the camera with music in the background going, um, I think you know that 
oh, fuck, I don't know. Old people, my brain isn't working. <laughs> if I'm on TikTok. <laughs> I'll find you, Joe. Hmm. You, learn, you learn something every day. <laughs>